Welcome to the EK Technology Day 22. In the hardware manufacturing industry, the best way to stay ahead of the curve is to be the very one who bends it. And that's precisely what EK is doing in the field of water cooling. We have the privilege to live in extremely exciting and inspiring times for computer technologies where huge breakthroughs occur almost daily. Blink and you'll miss a new product or even entirely new approach to how computer hardware is made. This is why here at EK we never blink, at least when it comes to following the latest industry standards. In fact, we are the ones who set them, mainly within the domain of liquid cooling. We are all about performance, reliability and focus. Our goal is to bring the production costs of liquid cooling much closer to those of conventional air cooling systems, but without sacrificing the performance and reliability standards we have set over the years. A great example of this is our light block on the MSI Z690 Torpedo EKX, a high-performing yet budget-friendly motherboard that is the fruit of our collaboration with MSI. The Torpedo features the purpose-designed simplified monoblock that provides cooling to the VRM section in a special way and the powerful Intel 12th generation Core Series CPUs. The only way to couple this type of premium quality with affordable price is through innovation. Our R&D department is constantly exploring, improving their know-how and coming up with new approaches that can help our partners achieve their goals. In a collaboration setting, we like to be involved right from the get-go. Only then we can reach the holy trinity of cost reduction, optimal performance and visually stunning design. Our focus also lies in personalization. For every project we do with one of our partners, we have an individual, personal approach tailored strictly to the needs of their customers. Aside from the numerous innovations you're about to see, we also decided to become independent in terms of entire supply chains. From development and knowledge to support and delivery, our products are now available on multiple continents, making sure our customers are not left with burning holes in their pockets and empty slots in their sockets. As for the proof of quality and set innovation, we could boast about numerous awards and prizes our company has won so far, but we don't need to do that. Instead, let's see what the exciting world of liquid cooling has been up to. Currently, one of the most talked about topics is how to reduce production costs and bring them closer to air cooling. Probably not the most exciting topic, but a rather important one from a technical development standpoint. Especially now, when costs of raw materials are reaching record highs. We touched on this before, but now more than ever, we are conducting base research and testing different approaches to water block design and assembly. One of our primary goals is optimizing cost efficiency and bringing trend-setting technologies to the mainstream market. This is possible through a business model in which cooling solutions for the products are developed by EK, produced in China, and then the final assembly takes place at a semiconductor vendor's factory, a model we are currently turning into a reality. The standard water block design and assembly that we are all used to will always have its place where it is a good fit. Nevertheless, other approaches must be considered as we aim at a broader range of applications in terms of both lowering costs and increasing reliability. We are achieving this by coming up with new development technologies that include brazing of tubes, braze water blocks, laser weld water blocks, the use of aluminium, and so on. In the automotive industry, for example, the focus should be on robustness of the water block rather than the ability to be disassembled or good-looking. This is where the technologies of metal bonding especially come into place. By utilizing laser welding or brazing, we can reduce assembly costs and at the same time drastically improve resistance to shock and vibration. One of the new water block design approaches that fit into this narrative is using deep drog of copper sheet metal to form one part of the water block. With high enough volumes, it would be economically feasible to make a die that could, for instance, stamp out a block top with all of the channels, enabling to make the cold plate as thin as possible. Subsequently, fusing them together through welding or brazing, we are able to make a water block with minimal machining and material waste. 
This helps us to produce high-performing solutions at a reasonable price. Technological innovations like this often trickle down into our consumer sphere to solve a particular problem. One recent example of using technologies for more industrial purposes is the case of the Ultrablock. The goal was to cover as much of the motherboard as possible with the challenge of having very limited space between the upper CPU part and the lower M.2 and the chipset part. We rummaged around our technology approaches bin to see how we could bridge the gap with a cross-section sufficient enough for the optimal coolant flow. Making this happen by using a single piece of copper or standard milling was not possible. So the following question was asked. Why don't we simply use the brazing process to join the top and the bottom water block using copper tubes? It ticks all of the boxes, fits into the space, creates a permanent and strong sealed bond, provides the largest possible cross-section for the flow, and we already have a proof of concept. So, no knows. Sounds like an easy win, right? Well, wrong. As always, the devil is in the details. And the details that gave us real headaches was using an industrial solution process for a high-end product that needs to look and feel premium. Although we thought we had all the building blocks to piece things together, we were missing one crucial component, how large surfaces of copper would react to nickel plating while having a braised joint in the mix. The sample batches went through without any major issues, but when the large-scale production started, problems began popping up one after another. Ultimately, we solved all the issues, reached the desired aesthetics and delivered the required quantities. But not without delays, which, understandably, didn't make our customer too happy. The moral here is, every time new technologies are introduced, there is an inherent risk of failure. But without pushing the envelope, there wouldn't be any progress to be made. In some cases, however, all the stars align when you are trying something new. This happened with our new EK light block design. We're approached to produce a cost-effective monoblock that would provide water cooling to the VRMs as well as the CPU. There was always an option to go with the classical approach of using individual copper coal plates for the CPU and the VRM. However, as we are EK, we decided this was simply too obvious and too lazy approach to engineering. So we went back to the drawing board and a couple of brainstorming sessions later, we came up with what we now call OptiSocket. Here is how the OptiSocket works. The hybrid monoblock is normally mounted to cool the CPU. Additionally, there is a flat spot on the stock motherboard heatsink right above the VRMs. Using thermal pads, the monoblock also makes contact with the already installed VRM heatsink. This design is simple and cost-effective, but still allows us to utilize our latest Velocity 2 cooling engine and, although indirectly, water-cool the CPU power delivery. The beauty of this approach is that the consumer can still use a standard air cooler or an AIO to cool the CPU and the stock heatsink will provide sufficient cooling to the VRMs. While for that extra performance, the light block is used to ensure additional cooling and keep the VRMs cooler by 20 degrees. Now is a good moment to point out that we were once again in uncharted waters, as no one has tried anything like this before. Had our calculations and simulation turned out to be wrong, we would have been back to square one with nothing to show for, except two months of wasted work and no time for a do-over. Fortunately, this time around, not only did our calculated risk pay off, but the project actually exceeded our expectations. This design offers yet another benefit. If we were to standardize socket locations in relation to the heatsick contact surface, and the board manufacturers would adopt the standard, this handy solution wouldn't be limited to a single board. To be clear, we never implement new solutions and technologies without extensive testing. This can be in form of numerical flow and thermal analysis or prototyping with the necessary scale-up in mind. What we do face quite often are tight timeframes and the lack of test methodology standardization in our field. Standardized tests from other industries can sometimes be used if they suit our purposes. But more often than not, we simply have to come up with our own internal standard, which comes with its own set of challenges, such as verification. 
To make sure the testing is top tier, we have our own in-house personnel, while also working closely with certified partners, research institutes and laboratories. By utilizing equipment such as climate chambers, wind tunnels, bench test stations and other technologies, we are able to perform specialized tests such as shock, vibrations, electrostatic discharge and other simulations that enables us to produce supreme cooling solutions. Verifying the method and results as well as ensuring repeatability is not exactly a quick and easy task. As time is always of the essence and a scarcity, it is sheer creativity that is the name of the game yet again. Though these cases are sometimes frustrating, it is all worthwhile when our R&D engineers get free reign. When the time and deadlines allow, we work on our Quantum X projects. This is something of an EK Skunk Wars division where we dabble with out-of-the-box ideas that don't typically go past the concept phase. There are some ongoing projects on the safer end of the spectrum, like an AI-assisted design for a 3D printed copper block, or evaporative cooling that doesn't require the use of a compressor. On the other side of the spectrum, we are, for example, playing with laminar flow tubeless block connections. Basically, no idea is too wild. Now, when you know what trailblazing liquid cooling technologies we are working on, we should address how we work with our strategic partners to help them get their products they desire and to do so in cost-optimized ways. EK enables its partners to develop the best possible products, especially if we are there from the beginning. With knowledge and experience in cooling system development and manufacturing, we add value to the customer when we are included from the start. The hard truth is that CPUs, GPUs and motherboards are only as efficient as their cooling system. There is no other way around it. And to make the product perform the way customer deserves and expects, as well as to make it cost efficient and designed for manufacturing, it is critical for us to participate from the earliest possible stage. This way, we are able to propose and guide the board design process so the cooling system can fit perfectly. Every final off-the-shelf solution that you develop and offer it to an enterprise customer involves some type of compromise. The customer will almost always want something different. So even though we have off-the-shelf solutions available, our aim and focus are to be a development partner with our customers. We want to tailor the product to meet the customer needs and requirements perfectly. This is only possible when we develop product together in a close collaboration type of setting. Quick turnaround is crucial. We know how important it is to have short time frame for coming from a 3D model stage to real working samples. This is why we are continuously investing a lot of resources into this segment and we are proud to say that the results and improvements are obvious. Namely, we can now get from a finished 3D design to an actual sample in under 24 hours, depending on the complexity of product, of course. This means that our customers overseas can have a finished product in their hands in one week's time. We have a lot of experience in internal management and are working with numerous customers from various industries, and these customers have equally various demands and requirements. If you encounter challenges in the development or lack competence in any field of cooling solutions, please do not hesitate to contact us. We will be happy to offer you assistance, guidance, or execute the complete development of your product for you. Over the past two years, we have encountered challenges with the global supply chain as the pandemic brought it to a grounding halt. Ike predicted this and started a project called 3C3P, or Three Continents, Three Pillars. The project's objective is to have independent supply chains on different continents and to be able to purchase, manufacture and supply locally. We are achieving this at a good pace and are becoming independent on the continents where this is currently possible so we'll soon be able to fully support our customers locally. This makes EK a worldwide company, which is something we are taking very seriously on all levels. Being a company that is fully aware of the environmental changes our world is encountering, and because we cannot deny the human influence as the catalyst for said changes, we decided to check what EK can do to help fight climate change and be more environment friendly. This is why we decided to implement ISO 40001, an internationally agreed standard that sets out the requirements 
for an environmental management system. It helps organizations to improve their environmental performance through more efficient use of resources and waste reduction. We know there is no planet B and we are proud to take this path. Now more than ever, the aspect of preserving the environment is among the highest priorities for businesses worldwide. This goes for both the manufacturing process and the product design. Regardless of the industry, we try to design our blocks so that when disassembled to their basic parts, no remaining component is made of two different permanently bonded materials. At the end of the product's life, it does require some additional work from the consumer to disassemble, separate and safely dispose of different materials. Still, this should not pose much of a problem for the environmentally conscious. The same mentality is applied to our packaging, where we almost entirely eliminated one-time use plastics, like bags for example. But there is always a trade-off between sustainability and bringing functionality and unboxing experience to higher levels. One major stepping stone in doing what we preach is the implementation of our new render farm, located at Niked headquarters. It will be our fully liquid-cooled Fluidworks rack-mounted workstation server. It will be integrated into our heating system, which is already powered by a groundwater heat pump. We will use the waste heat from our server to heat the tap water in our system throughout the year and help heat the offices during winter. The server should be up and running in a couple of months. Since we are designing and manufacturing our products and complete solutions for our partners worldwide, we need to understand and fulfill local regulatory requirements. One part of the product compliance measurements is done in-house. For more complex tests, we partner with various certified laboratories, which provide us with special tests or certifications, proving our product's compliance with local market legislations. The third crucial driving force after performance and reliability is design, an integral part in the development of our technologies and solutions, evident from the evolution of our products over the last 15 years. Water blocks have transformed from pragmatic and straightforward 2.5D shapes to perfectly fitted, clean assemblies with a wide range of features and materials. Packaging all of those requirements into a minimalistic design is a real challenge, especially when pursuing excellence in every detail. In the case of our latest CPU block release, Velocity 2, we wanted to achieve a completely smooth top with no visible screws or mounting mechanism. At first, the necessary solution sounds simple, attach it from behind the motherboard. However, when factoring in socket specifications and allowable clearances, things became rather complex. Achieving consistent mounting pressure for the CPU block means that it's necessary to use coil springs. If the pressure was too low, the thermal paste would not spread and perform as it should, but if the pressure was too high, the product would not meet the required socket specifications. Furthermore, on the secondary side of the motherboard PCB, there is a height restriction, preventing any significant protrusions. To package the coil springs, it was apparent that they had to be on the primary side. A thumb nut on the back side could then pull on the screw to tension the spring. To make this practical to install in situations where only one side can be seen at once, the detensioning screws are held under load and keyed to prevent rotation. This uniquely allows them to reach the load length of the spring with very little thread engagement. Such short engagement ensures that the block is mounted evenly and simple flanges prevent over tightening, alleviating common user errors and any rotating parts which might damage the PCB. All these improvements together led to a mounting design which retains and improves upon all expected functionality. It can be implemented across multiple socket specifications with identical parts and crucially stays aesthetically true to the concept. The most successful designs elegantly relate aesthetics, performance and reliability, elevating all three simultaneously. Often the simplest solutions are the ones which unite these three pillars. For example, in our new Vector2 GPU block cooling engine, an element that has continuous focus from a performance perspective, but on this occasion, we managed to leverage an improvement from an aesthetic decision. The coolant itself is the most distinctive visual element in a system that instantly communicates something special and powerful lies inside. Second to that element are the cooling fins, so it was only natural to eliminate the stainless steel jet plate which obstructs them both from view. The jet plate is an integral part of the cooling engine, 
increasing the flow velocity through the fins and providing some obstruction to crudely distribute the flow, so it could not be removed entirely. We decided to combine it with a plexi insert that was previously a very simple 2.5D shape. Since this made it necessary to machine the part, we could deploy a more complex geometry and tapered the inlet cavity to better distribute the flow across the fins. The result, a simple visual material change eliminated one part, improved hydraulic performance and improved thermal performance by 1.6 degrees. Our most significant change over the last year has not been on any of the individual products, but rather how they relate to each other. Since any custom loop system must be built from multiple EK products, the biggest aesthetic and ease of use distinction to be made comes from how they are connected. To address this, we initiated Matrix 7, a system of predefined coordinates, dimensions and directions that define the location of every port on every product, ensuring that they conveniently align. Some products, such as distribution plates and fittings, instantly became integral pieces in this big puzzle, whereas others caused major challenges. A very recent trend saw a rise in the popularity of active backplates due to placement of VRAM on NVIDIA's 30 series graphics cards. These blocks for the secondary side were initially released with a simple terminal that required connections on opposing sides. Standard GPU blocks, however, with only a primary side block, can be connected from just one side with two adjacent ports. To move forwards with the standard, both traditional and active backplate equipped GPU blocks needed to interface in exactly the same way, so a multiple part direct link terminal was introduced. Nothing new from the outside, actually it looks just like a standard GPU terminal, which is precisely what was needed. A secondary internal plate allows the primary and secondary blocks to be linked diagonally, making opposing or adjacent connections possible in just the same way as a traditional block. Our efforts to streamline the building process do not stop with the loop itself. Another key innovation has been the implementation of daisy chain fan connectors. At a glance, this may seem old fashioned, but take a closer look at the novelties, and that's not the case. Each cable is the same length as the fan it belongs to, with both male and female connections. Every fan or device has all eight of its pins connected in series, whether they are used by that product or not so a sequence of DRGB lighting is not interrupted by a non-DRGB fan. Furthermore, there are actually two PWM channels, so that pumps and fans can be controlled independently with the same cable. A high current rating from all cabling and connectors ensures that an entire system can be connected in one single series. As there are no proprietary parts or signals, accessories like splitters, extenders and adapters can all be made backwards compatible with existing products and interface with any standard motherboard or controller. The sum of all these parts and the result of truly cohesive design are ideas and products that have become internationally recognized and praised, delivering in equal parts functional and emotional value to the user. This consistent execution of innovation and refinement across a comprehensive range of products has established EK as the market leader. We hope we managed to bring the magical world of water cooling a little bit closer to you. As the evolution of computer systems moves at record paces, it is important to stay ahead of the proverbial curve we mentioned before. And the safest way to do so in the water cooling industry is to stay in the custom loop with us. At EK, we enjoy elevating computers to new levels of performance, stability and visual design. But we don't like to do it alone. Each endeavor is much more fun when shared with your friends and partners. So be sure to subscribe through our Technology Day page or contact us for a potential partnership collaboration. Stay cool!